What's up, what's up, what's up guys? It's Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here today with a new trading video. I got another trade in today. Luckily, it was a good trade, unlike yesterday's trade. Unfortunately, I just didn't make up uh, today or yesterday's uh, losses, but it, nonetheless, it still was a green trade, guys. I was thinking about this. I was really, really thinking hard about this. As a content creator, as a wannabe day trader, my goal for all my viewers and my subscribers is to inspire you guys. I want to inspire you guys to come up with your own uh, trading strategy, your own trading plan, figure out what works for you, and, and go do it, guys. This game is beatable. I know it's beatable. It's just trying to find the right combination of indicators, discipline, and then following through with your trading plan, guys. It doesn't matter. Shut everybody um, out that, that tells you you need um, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to, to make, uh, to become you know, successful in the day trading world. Even though that you, I do, I do feel that you need quite a, quite a big uh, a bankroll or trading account to do this full time, but you don't need those thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to start day trading. The game becomes uh, infinitely more difficult when you put your own emotions, your own true dollars in that trade. It, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be different but it's different guys and and I've always said this through uh, many many of my videos the emotional side the psychological side of trading is probably the most difficult uh, part of day trading or trading in general um, today I exercise great um, discipline great patience in my opinion I'm getting better I'm getting better at recognizing whether this is a winning trade and I can hold off for a little bit longer or hey, this isn't going my direction. Let's cut loose. Uh, I'm sticking to my stop loss. I think that's that was a game changer. Is identifying a good stop loss and sticking to it and moving on to the next one. Good morning, everybody. Today is February fifth, twenty nineteen. Just getting to my computer from dropping off my son at school and checking Forex Factory here. We have a couple things here on the docket. Nine forty-five, which just passed. Let's actually refresh this we're not getting the numbers yet while that's loading we do have ism non-manufacturing pmi that's high impact at 10 o'clock and that's pretty much it's economic optimism not a big deal let's we're probably going to wait after 10 o'clock eastern time to get into a trade we are getting a signal here on VXXB. I've never traded it, like I've never traded VXX, but it's worth a look at. There's just hardly any volume on those uh, options in general, VXXB. The 3350 puts that expire in three days are trading at 60 by 65, getting in at 65. That spread is just way too wide for me. 65 by 70 now. Well, the play of the day were those uh, 3350 puts on VXXB. Uh, look at that awesome move there. Um, check out the options here. They got up to 90 cents on the bid, so you could have bought at right at 65 cents and been selling at 85 cents, um, even 90, and possibly 95 if you were if you're patient enough to sit there. And again, with the possibility of still climbing up higher, but. It looks like those were the trades. Oh, look at that. We're getting a signal here on SPY. I am interested in the 272.50 calls that expire tomorrow. Um, let's see. Oh, the signal went away. Let's, uh, let's just wait to see um, more of this uh, candle. doesn't look like it's going to uh, stick. The uh, signal isn't going to stick here. Possibly... Uh, the next candle, but uh, we're gonna be patient here and wait for that signal to show up I'm really tempted to buy uh, calls um, Calls seem really good here for spy 
Went ahead and bought three at 118. There's my signal there. Put my stop loss at 272.86 there. So if we if we close down below that, um, I'll get out. I'm barely back to break even here. There we go. Now we're looking better. It feels like I bought like right at the exact center as far as the option pricing go. I mean, it's just been just standing still right around the 115 to 118 area. It's trying so hard to break out here. Alrighty, I sold two at 125. And I only have one left now. I just, it was it was a tough trade and I don't want to be in the negative now from, from here. So I'm okay with that. We'll see um, where it goes from here. The nice thing is I can't lose. This is no longer um, a losing trade. Um, as long as I, I get out at break even at 118, I can't lose. And that's the beauty of this uh, strategy is once you're in the green and you sell out, you're good. And there it goes back up. And I sold the other one at 119. I saw it, um, I saw 118 flash and I went ahead and sold. And ultimately I'm okay with that. It went back up here, but hey, that's okay. Let me show you my trades. I got filled at 118. And this was a, one of my longest trades, one of my longest day trades um, in, in a long time. But I bought three at 118, sold two at 125, and then sold the last one at 119. That is great. That's perfect. Let's just keep rolling with this uh, strategy. I love it. And um, yeah, we're, we're ultimately, we are good. I'm happy. I didn't make up my uh, losses from yesterday, but that is a okay. I made up half, half of it back. So we're set, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was a long and nerve-wrecking trade, but I made a winning trade, and we are all set. Don't forget to uh, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button also, and comment down below what you thought about this uh, uh, trade. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.